Samurais are well-known figures of the Japanese popular culture. They are often represented as fearless and strong warriors, and they frequently appear in movies, video games, books or even mangas. Yet, we know little about them, and I fear one video would not be enough to cover their story. But I wondered who was the last of them, who inspired many, such as the last samurai movie starring Tom Cruise. This film, which might be fictional, it was based on a true event of the last true samurai, Saigo Takamori. Before we jump into his story, let's take a step back and see who were the samurais really. They first appeared in the 12th century, and essentially they were the military retainers of Japanese daimyos. This period was called Kamakura period, when under the shogun rule they were entrusted with the security of the estates. The following periods, the Ashikaga shogunate and the Senkoku Jidai, which means in English warring states, were about the struggle of power and helped the samurais to prosper. The foundation of the Tokugawa shogunate by Tokugawa Ieyasu in the 1600s, one of the three unifiers of Japan, who unified the divided country, brought peace. As the country knew peace, the role of samurai switched from being a warrior to rather being bureaucrats and administrators. As the government cut the size of the army, many samurai lost their source of income. The fall of the Tokugawa shogunate only made worse the situation for them. In 1867, Emperor Meiji reformed the army and the navy and slowly abolished the samurai class. At this point, we arrive at the life of Saigo Takamori. He was born in 1828 in Satsuma province into a modest family but proud of their samurai ancestors. You see, he was not only a skilled warrior, but he was also dedicated to Confucianism and Buddhism and profound admirer of the samurai ideology. According to the legend, when his daimyo died, he decided to follow the Asian practice of Junchi, which is to follow his lord into the death. He and his friend jumped into a lake in order to commit suicide, but he survived. Ironic as it is, he played an important part in overthrowing the Tokugawa shogunate and helped Emperor Meiji. As I mentioned earlier, the emperor abolished the Asian system of military government and such samurais and which I shouldn't say but displeased Saigo and make, made him uneasy about the new political reforms. As the daimyo rank ceased to exist, it marked the end of samurai existence, since they were paid by them. Even if he accepted the changes, Saigo couldn't keep being a samurai and abandoned those under him. He resigned and he founded a military school in Satsuma following the samurai way of life. The government feared a rebellion and tried to confiscate the, the weapons held by him. In response, Saigo indeed rebelled in 1877. But he was soon cornered on Mount Shiroyama where he confronted the imperial army of 30,000 men strong with his 500 remaining men. According to the tradition, in the middle of the battle he committed seppuku. The day was 24th September 1877, the Battle of Shiroyama of the Satsuma Rebellion. This was the day when the last true samurai died and when his legend was born. And this is the end. I hope you like it. I think it was a interesting story to tell, even though I was a bit boring maybe sometimes. Yeah, it was the, the first video ever created on this channel, so yeah, I'm did my best but I can do better uh, I will try next time but anyway if you are here please please down below in the comment section please tell me what did I do wrong or what I can improve on it would be really helpful for me please be cruel <laughs> as much as possible uh, yeah I know maybe not that much but yeah and also uh, what direction uh, do I want to take with this channel? I'm not sure yet. Maybe I will do other Asian countries or um, manga or anime stuff too to have a balance between contents. Uh, we'll see, we'll see. Uh, anyway, bye.